Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind, where Fathis Ulven is outside Margan and also surrounded by a purple glowy bubble. I think he's going to continue to be surrounded by a purple glowing bubble, because we're not staying in Margan for very long, and so walking around with a very conspicuous glowing purple bubble isn't really that big a deal. Bill does not have a glowing purple bubble. This is a shame. We could give him it. Admittedly, I think. Where is it? Would he put it on? He would. That is interesting. Hmm. Maybe if, well, if I find a better amulet, Bill, you can have that one. Constant effect shield points 10 on self. It's no joke. We'd like it for now, though. Uh, one of the other nice things about it is it boosts our intelligence, which gives us, like, basically 15 extra magicka, which is very nice. Very nice indeed. Because we didn't pick a star sign that gave us a magicka multiplier, and we really should have. But never mind. Think of it as a nerf that's intentional in order to make the, let, this Let's Play more interesting. Because, let's face it, if I was playing the Atronarch birth sign right now, or the Mage, or the Apprentice, uh, I'd probably be a lot more powerful by now. I think Fathers would be a heck of a lot more powerful by now. And that would actually make the game less fun, I think, personally. Uh, I've, I've said it before, but I think Fathers' deliberately wonky character build actually makes this playthrough far more interesting, at least for me to play through. Anyway, um... Additionally, where is the robe of alteration? There we go. Could do with get my magic back. Anyway, previously, folks, previously, we left Aldrun to come north to Margan because we have many things to do up here, actually. The first of which is locating a tomb nearby this town, which contains a vampire that needs to be killed. Additionally, we need to head north via the nearby Foyada up towards the coast to locate a Velothi tower in which um, the Redoran have a Telvani person under siege. I don't know if they're a lord or not. Master Aaron wants us to do that. And then finally, once all of that is done, we need to head up there to the Urshalaku camp to ask them about the Nerevarine cult. Because Caius wants to do that, and we're humoring Caius for now. Partially because we're actually interested in ourselves in the whole thing. <sighs> that was just rude. Anyway, welcome to Margan. It's a small town. Nothing much to see here, ultimately. There's the outpost. Some guards, a cliff racer up there. Do you see that? He hasn't started animating yet because I'm too far away, but he's there. Kind Erushara. Is your first name Kind? Pronounced Kind or something, or are you actually Kind because people call, say you're Kind? It's your first visit to Margan? It is, as a matter of fact. What you see is what you get. Welcome to Margan. Fair enough. What, you've never heard of me? Come on, you must have read my poems now somewhere. Sheogorathium? The Elves' Knoll? Come on. Ode to Mazte? You've got to be kidding me. So you're a poet. I'm a poet. I'm surprised you even had to ask. I'm world famous, you know. Yeah. I believe you. 100%. Um, Morrowind Law? Law, huh? Sounds like you're asking for some poetry. Well, I'm the guy to ask, after all. I'm the best poet you'll ever meet. I'll recite my Ode to Mazte. Oh, no. O oh, Mazde, thou art a woman sweet who caresses mine ears and licks my feet. Thy love is a liquid of the gods. Sweet Azira, make all my footsteps Mazde shod. For Mazde is my drink of choice. O oh, Mazde, Mazde, thy tender voice shall guide me ever in mine art. And I'll drink the air before I start. And when I'm through, I'll drink again. Ye I'll, I'll again drink you. O oh, inspiring Mazde, here's to you. You are a ridiculous little man, I'm going to go talk to someone else. One of these guards, perhaps. 
you actually know. You'll do. Um, oh, leave me alone, will you? Try to take a little walk, get some fresh air and fresh thoughts after a long day mining, and you outlanders just have to come up and start bugging me. Can't a body have a little peace? <sighs> Not when you're speaking to a necromancer. Um, okay, this town's full of crackpots and rude people. Great. Fantastic. We need to find a scout, basically. We need to find a scout. Admittedly, we might find one in the outpost. How about, how about you? you On have the a... sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. You have a very Ashlander kind of a name, you do. This is Margan Fathersoven, and I'm Shilapuran Zamarasur. Lots of pilgrims come here to visit the temple shrine. Is there anything I can help you with? Do you need services? Maybe. Yeah, we have services at the outpost down that way. Not that I go myself. Too lazy, I guess. Yes, you're here. Ha ha ha. Thought you lost your way for a minute, did you? Comedian, is it? Any vampires around here? Uh, no, but you can tell us about vampires in general, apparently. The, va the Dunmer hate necromancy and the undead, and hate blood vampires in particular. Blood vampires are powerful undead creatures that feed on humanoid blood. The vampire curse is contracted from dis disease-contaminated blood. Victims of vampire attacks sometimes become vampires. There's no known cure for vampirism, but the destruction of the vampire. Ash vampires are not blood vampires, though both are powerful immortal undead. Ash vampires do not feed on blood and have no connection with blood vampires. No, they are an entirely different thing. Almost an unfortunate choice of name, really, because they really, really have no relation whatsoever. Um, yeah, latest rumors? I was in cool last week getting some supplies, you know. Clay and the like. I guess there's some big scandal going on up there about smuggling and bribes. I can't say that I understood very much of it, but there sure is a lot going on up there for such a small town. Any advice? Redware pottery is my favourite. It is affordable, durable, and aesthetically pleasing. That's the only kind I make because everyone prefers it. Don't bother with green glass or the like. It'll shatter at the slightest bump. A series of potter. I've lived here in Margan my whole life, even married my childhood sweetheart. I don't want to hear about your childhood sweetheart particularly, but I feel compelled to ask anyway. I've loved Asarari since I was about ten. I'm sure there's no better woman anywhere in Vardenfell. I'm sure you've heard it heard though, we're split up at the moment. No, we really haven't. And yeah, I'd give anything to be with her again, but I understand her reasons for making me leave. She made you leave her. Huh? Though I'm not sure she knows that those reasons are void now. Outlander, do you think would you be interested in helping me with this? I could not be any less interested, even if the world itself depended on it. Could you talk to her yourself? Well, that's just it, you see. I've tried. She gets this pained look on her face and accuses me of boasting and not having changed at all. But I really have. No, I think the only way she'd listen to reason is if someone else were to talk to her. Uh, well, it will have to be someone else. Oh, well, no worries, a friend I understand perfectly. To tell you the truth, I try not to get involved in this kind of stuff, too. Maybe someday I'll go talk to her again. Yeah, I, I, I'd advise you to move on, I think. It sounds like she has very definitely made up her mind. Here's the shrine, which, as you mentioned, the, 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 the pilgrims come to visit. I've brought an undead into the temple. <laughs> Oh dear, let's hope the priests don't have some sort of sixth sense that allows them to realise that. Oh, there, what's that? That is the Phallus Marion Propylon Index. Propylon, I think it's supposed to. I always called it Propylon in my head for years and years and years. Um, even though I'm pretty sure it's probably supposed to be pronounced Propylon. But um, it's the Index. It allows you to fast travel using the Propylons. Um... It's owned, unfortunately, though. I wonder if there's someone else around here I can talk to about getting my hands on it. In fact, there's a DLC for making a master index. I can't remember if I actually have that DLC installed. Probably nothing. Yeah, Morrowind had DLC, believe it or not. It had the two main expansions, but it also had lots of little mini bits of DLC, and that was one of them, and I genuinely don't remember if I have it installed or not. It doesn't come by default with the game. Even these days, you have to download it. 
And Hedra, yes. You're the elephant in the room, aren't you, really? I am Anhedra. If you're a pilgrim, read the inscription on the stupid rock. <laughs> the magic rock of Margan, folks. Here, Merun's Dagon held this rock high above the Dunmer. Vivek taunted Merun's Dagon so that Dagon threw the rock at Vivek instead of the people. So I've not only brought an undead into the temple, but I've also brought like the dagger of Merun's Dagon into the temple about Vivek defeating Merun's Dagon. Blasphemies on top of blasphemies. I'm such a heretic. I love it. If you are on the pilgrimage here, I may, may assist you. Do you want the blessings of the temple? Uh, sure. Very well, stand still. We are now blessed. Fortify attack 25. That's a really good blessing. That is a really good blessing. And 75 points of Sanctuary as well. That is incredibly... Incre plus the 10 we've already got from, from, from the Belt of the Unarmed. That's 85 points of Sanctuary. That is ridiculous. Good grief. I can only assume that that, that blessing is not going to last very long. Because, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm here looking for a vampire. Matey. Of the local priest, maybe you know something. You have a lot of topics, haven't you? All to do with religion, mostly. What do you think of the Nine Divines, out of curiosity? The official religion of the Empire, the Imperial Cult, worships the Nine Divines. The Nine Divines are the Aedra, Akatosh, Debella, Arcade, Zanath, Armara, Standark, Enereth, and Julianos, and the divine god hero Tiber Septim, founder and patron of the Empire. These are indeed powerful spirits, but they are untrustworthy and unworthy of worship. I see, and the tribunal is trustworthy and worthy of worship. I take it. I would not wish to suggest otherwise, of course, but, uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Margan? Margan's a redder and egg mining village in the northern Ashlands north of Aldrun, close to the foyard of Banidad, the ghost fence on the plains beneath Red Mountain. Monsters have been breaking through the ghost fence here and attacking the villagers. Fortunately, monster fighters have answered the call for volunteers to come help protect Margan. Pilgrims of the Tribunal Temple come to visit the Margan Tower Shrine, where Lord Vivek outwitted the bad Daedra, Lord Merun's Dagon. Very good. Uh, clearly, I think I need to be at the outpost. We need to visit the outpost, because I, I'm, I'm, I feel like that's where we're going to find a scout, if we're going to find a scout anywhere here. Then again, I think there's an inn up there. I'll try the outpost first. A smith, huh? I didn't expect that, actually. I must admit. What do you have? Oh, nothing that interesting. I saw a little bit of raw glass on the side there and got excited for a minute. I still want that suit of glass armor. It's clearly going to take me some time to get my hands on it, though. Anything useful here I could equip? Um, Bill with, though? Maybe? I don't know. See, there's um, different types of bone mold helmet you can get your hands on. Uh, and unfortunately, because my medium armor skill is so terrible, I can't actually tell which is better, because they're both rated armor one. Um, when I look at them. It's a bit of a pain. Can you repair some of my stuff at least? Indeed you can. I have only 414 gold left. That is uh, a problem. Do I have any anything I could sell you right now? I do have this ridiculous Dramora battle axe, which has an amazing enchantment on it, but a lot of charge, actually, but um, I think it's got to go. And I'm hoping you can give me a lot more than that for it, mate, because that is... You are stiffing me big time there with that. There we go. I could have probably pushed for even more, actually. But whatever. That's filled the wallet back up again temporarily. 
may have to go back to my hideout at some point and do a bit of a boot sale. Um, <laughs> figure out which bits of stuff I've got in there I don't really need and sell them. And you would be who, exactly? You're a master at arms. Ah, oh, you do training, I see. What is, your, what is your trade, then? You're a master at arms, okay. You're not a scout, then, basically. I'm liking all the purple candles. It's kind of cool. Hello. You wish to listen to my tale, Fathus? No, not really. I just wanted to know if you're a scout or not. Oh, dear. How charming. Not many people have time to listen to an old animal like me anymore. The youth these days just don't appreciate a good conversation, but I digress. I can sit here with you all day talking about the youth. Yeah, we definitely can. Um... Um, very well, we'll indulge you. Well, when I was a young, and might I rather, might I add rather stunning looking Dunmer girl, I grew up with my mother and father and brother on a guar farm across the mountains from Alderun. We had a small farm, uh, around 10 guar. We would breed them and make them, take them to the city on market days and the like. Well, one day, ba bandits came, cursed Nords they were. They killed my father and brother right in front of me and took my mother and me into slavery. It would have been about a year ago. It wouldn't, sorry. It would have been about a year or so I worked for them. One day we were in Caldera and, when, and my mother had caused a distraction and allowed me to escape. Well, I never saw my mother again. Years went by and I moved to Aldrun and trained in the ways of combat and got quite good at it. I wanted to take vengeance on those bastards who killed my family, and, but soon I realized it was futile. Nonetheless, here I am in Margan, drill master of the local militia. I heard of bandit problems up here, so I came as an adventurer looking to help and ended up training the militia because I was so good. Well, needless to say, I accepted the job as I had nothing else to do. And for the first time since the farm, I've been truly happy here. Well, that's my story. I hope I haven't bored you. Oh, not at all, madam. You have definitely bored me. Please tell me you are a scout. You're a drill master. Someone in particular. Mance uh, Mans Anders is the publican. Uh, okay. Mm, Miles Gloriosus, famous questing swordsman and monster slayer, is taking his lodgings there. While he hunts the blight creatures plague in the village. Okay, he might be someone to talk to. No mention of any what scouts, is this though. About? Hello. You don't look like a scout. Priest of the Tribunal Temple. Okay. Anything useful? Got some restore health potions. I need to restore magicka. No. You sell spells. Nimbleness. Wisdom. Fortitude. Blood gift. We'll fortify spells, basically. Righteousness. Let's all have 10 points for one second on touch. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab that. The reason I'm doing that is just... I'm pretty sure my, but my spells are better, but... 50 points. And 20 points. Oh, that's on touch, though. Now, where, where is my... Um... Where's my spell? Ranged. Here we go. Ranged. Leech health. 50 points on target. 25 points on target. Yeah. Um, I only wondered about that one because sometimes the, the spells you buy from vendors as opposed to making yourself are usually more points efficient. They're more, more, more magic points efficient. Um, but I couldn't remember how much damage my own, my own spells did. As it turns out, significantly more. That's interesting. 
It's all 50 points on target, and it costs 10 magicka. Uh, and for 7, I can do it on touch. Hmm. I still think the ranged is better to default to, just because it's more useful. Right. Hello! Sorry to barge in. Leader of the Ashland Scouting Team. Yes, if you are the lady I have come to see. This is marvellous news. While I'm part of the scouting team of Ardenfell, each region has a team of scouts who all specialise in different things, and the entire Ashlands team are based here in Margan. There are only three of us at present. Myself, Bugdarash, the local wildlife expert who can be found at the trade house, and Yeharadad, who knows the ruins of the Ashlands. I can tell you of all the geographic regions of Ardenfell, if you like. Maybe you're not who I need to speak to. Ah, no, here we go. Reloth Ancestral 2. I'm looking for it. I know of it. It's due west from Margan, on the opposite side of the mountains in the West Gash, and west-southwest of the Daedric Shrine, Melkashishi. I've heard some bad things have happened around the Reloth Ancestral Tomb, so be cautious. Okay. Due west, on the opposite side of the mountains in the West Gash. West-southwest... Of the Daedric Shrine, Melkashishi. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. That's what we wanted to know. What about the Urshalaku camp? The Urshalaku camp is due north from Margan, but high ridges lie in the way. From Margan, head east past the Siltstrider, then take a trail north to the Foyada Banidad. Follow the Foyada northwest to the sea. A shipwreck at the sea mouth of the ravine is a landmark. Swim east around the headland. Um, pass east through the ruins of Asurnabitashpi Shrine. Avoid Daedra here, they're powerful and aggressive. Urshalaku camp lies east of the ruins, inland on Low Hollow. Excellent, thank you very much. Uh, anything else useful to ask you right now? You don't, you don't have access to a scout like this very often, they have a lot of interesting dialogue topics usually. Um, you tell me about the Ashlands in general. The Ashlands wrap around the base of Red Mountain and suffer the brunt of the violent winds that stir up the ash. Mountain ranges at the edge of the Ashlands contain the storms, preventing them from affecting neighboring geographic regions. The major settlements in the Ashlands are Alderun and Margan, though some people regard Ghostgate as an Ashlands town. The Dunmer fortresses of Valen Varian and Phalas Marion are located in the northern part of the Ashlands near the coast, a desolate land fit only for rats and sharks. The Ashalaku Ashlanders camp is on the north coast, but you're advised to learn more about Ashlander customs before wandering into their camp. Fort Buckmoth is the Imperial Legion's foothold in the Ashlands. It's worth a visit for the variety of services they provide, particularly to legionaries. An important feature it bet found in the Ashlands is the long foyada stretching down the slopes of Red Mountain. They provide a comparatively easy route to travel between Fort, Buck Fort, Buck Fort Buckmoth and Ghostgate. <laughs> Any advice? It's worth seeking out the scouts to a region before you wander into the wilderness. Scouts knowledgeable of the West Gash can be found in Balmora and Nisus. For information about Azura's coast, try Sadrath Mora. One need not look beyond Vivek to find a scout that can describe what lies beyond that great city in the Ascadian Isles. Eleni in uh, Sedanine is the recognized expert on the Bitter Coast, and travel to Voss to learn about that region before wandering the Grayslands. Or we can just blunder blindly into that wilderness without a care in the world like we usually do. Molagmar would be the best place to go for information about the Molagamur, although the best advice would be to avoid that wasteland, and any scout can tell you that. Great! Good thing I'm building my fortress there, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's inconceivable that anyone would willingly enter Red Mountain, the Redoran scouts of Ghostgate could paint an accurate picture of the hazards that can be expected in that blighted land. Having experienced that blighted land firsthand, yes, I have no intentions of going back there anytime soon. It is kind of like a portal to hell going through there. Um, yes. <laughs> I love that she's like, just don't go to Merlagamur, it's kind of awful. And that's exactly where I'm going to build my new, my new home. <laughs> 
alive. I am building my wizard tower in what is effectively Mordor. Um, anything else useful here? Rumors? I heard that kind Erishara is close to finishing his first book of poems. Remind me to never buy that. Except for use as kindling. Secret? Smith service is a convenient and a sound value for repairing steel weapons and armor, but I'm not certain I would take a fine curia, cuirass or exotic weapon to one. Not only do they charge much more for their work, you have to worry about the possibility that the item could be damaged while in their care. It may well be worth it to train and learn to take care of your own equipment in such cases. Yeah, luckily that will never happen. The game doesn't do that to you. Um, but yes, it does get very expensive as soon as you start repairing like magical equipment and anything above steel. Anything about the Sea of Ghosts? Sea of Ghosts is the name for the northern waters lying between Tamriel and the northern continent of Atmora. Yes. Uh, I saw something about the inner sea here. There we go. The waters enclosed between mainland Morrowind and Vardenfell Island are called the inner sea. Oh, that's really good to say, apparently. <laughs> okay. Morrowind Law? About 50% of Vardenfell's inhabitants are Dunmer, the other half are Redguard, Breton, Nord, Aldmer, Bosma, Imperial, Khajiit, Argonian, and Orc in roughly equal proportion. I wonder if that's actually true. Like, you could go into the construction site and you could actually find out what the population percentages are. Um, right, well, we got what we came for. Uh, out of curiosity, I want to visit the trade house and talk to this famous hero type dude who's here fighting blighted creatures and whatnot. That has piqued my interest. Say your needs. You're one of the scouts, aren't you? We might be well served to talk to you after this bubble is out of the way. Uh, okay, Ashland of Customs. Ashland the challenges are very solemn and serious things. Do not make a challenge lightly. When challenged for sport, it is, it is acceptable to decline. When challenged for honor, it is shameful to, to decline. Okay. Well, I suspect we probably already knew that because we've had Ashlander customs and stuff drilled into us by various NPCs over the course of our adventures. But it's always nice to have a reminder. Know anything about Cartag Point? Oh, Cartag Point has changed, I hear. Now I ha now have to climb up big, ugly statue to jump. Still good time, though. Can't wait to see if a new statue is as high as rock it was carved from. I like that you just start incomprehensibly talking stupid as soon as car tag point is mentioned. <laughs> Slight oversight there, I think, on the part of the dialogue writers, but anyway, yes. Car tag point is different now. We saw to that. Got a really cool sword out of the bargain, too. Um, we really should seek out some more Daedric Shrines. We really should. More powerful artifacts is always good. And the favor of the Daedric Princess isn't bad either. Um, know anything about the Nerevarine cult? It's an Ashlander cult that believes that the ancient hero Nerevar will be reborn to cast down the temple and drive the Imperials out of Morrowind. Relath Ancestral Tomb? Yep, same information as before. Know anything about Shia Gorad? Shirgorod Island and countless nearby smaller islands are barren, and barren rocks are a desolate wilderness from the main island of Vardenfell into the Sea of Ghosts. Didn't need you to tell me that. Already been there. Okay. Um. Great. You offer training. What in? Nee. Nee. Ain't nothing down there. That's the kitchen. Sometimes it's the kitchen in one of these places, and sometimes it isn't. To build, my dear fellow, 
You're in the way again. Aaron. What do you want, Dark Elf? My name is Aaron. My background is my own to know, but not to tell. You don't trust me enough to train me. Interesting. Shady person. Where is this? Where is this? Ah. Well, you're certainly... How do you see anything with that helmet on? Uram Gro Blos... Glor Glozuf, Orc Warrior. I can see that much. Any advice? Learn about the variety of daydream I encounter. Here, the Morag Tong is based somewhere in the Arena Canton of Vivek. Of course, they have guild halls all over Vardenfell, but Vivek is where they recruit new members. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. Some Ashlanders nearby seem to think they've captured a noble. No one local that is no one local, that is to be sure. Yeah, they really didn't yeah, that was it didn't capture a noble at all. <laughs> that was a big old misunderstanding. Ah. Miles Gloriosus. Why hello there, Father Sylvan. I am Miles Gloriosus, probably the greatest warrior of all time. Here in Margan on a heroic quest to save this fine town from the nefarious threat of blight creatures that are escaping through the ghost fence. I suppose I could take some time out of my very busy schedule to answer a few questions from an obvious admirer such as you. I dislike you greatly already. I started off as an almost, almost as much of a nobody as you, so don't feel shockingly overwhelmed by at my magnificence. Yes, indeed. I am perhaps the greatest warrior in the world today. I think that perhaps one day, if you work hard, you could reach my level of perfection. Not really, but it's something I say to people to be polite. I truly am a wonderful fellow, aren't I? Don't get trapped in a conversation with Anders upstairs. She will talk your ear off. It might be different if she had something interesting to say, but it is usually her political opinions of the Skyrim nobility. Have you seen the seer in the shrine? He's supposed to be very good, but I have my doubts. He told me I would learn a valuable lesson in arms at the hands of a stranger. <laughs> As if anyone could teach me anything I do not already know about weapons. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, any little secrets? A number of potions are available that can boost one's strength in a pinch, but if you can afford it. I recommend carrying a bottle of Flynn for such an occasion. It is a well-aged spirit from my province of Cyrodiil, and it is not just for expensive dinners. It dr dramatically increases strength without dulling your other faculties, and it's light. What do you know about long blades, then? The western styles of the long blade are claymore, longsword, saber, and broadsword, while the cursed Akaviri use swords known as katana and daikatana. I believe only traitors and fools use the weapons of the enemy, and I am certainly neither. I only use the tried and true western swords of my homeland. Daikatanas and claymores are two-handed swords, meaning they have a superior reach and attack. They do not permit the use of a shield or a torch while they are equipped. In descending order of effectiveness, long swords are ranked daikatana, claymore, katana, longsword, saber, and broadsword. Well, as the most marvelous warrior in the world, I naturally know a great deal about my trade. I do try to be modest, but I am actually quite a savant on the subject. As a matter in perhaps an idiot savant. Um, as a master as a master in all weapon types, I can fight with nearly anything, even my bare fists. But it just so happens long blades are my specialty. I prefer heavy armor, but I am also highly educated in all armor types simply because it's my job, and I'm very, very good at my job. It's also a wise idea to be your own armorer. Maybe if you practice a lot and will be as good at whatever it is you do as I am a warrior, though I highly doubt it. For one thing, you need, you'd need a sword that's as good as mine, and, and I very much doubt you'll ever have one of those. Oh, you have a really good sword, do you? That is interesting. How about you try and fight me, then? You would lose. 
Yeah, but I'm, uh, I'd really like to fight you. <laughs> Here we go. Draw your weapon. Now and I might <clears throat> let you live. Well, as it turned out, the seer was correct. You did learn a valuable lesson in arms at the hands of a stranger. Unfortunately, you didn't live to, to act on that lesson. He had a silver longsword. And a key. Idiot. Do close the doorbell. Anything worth taking here? Apparently this is locked. And not with the key that he had. Curious indeed. Consolations of prayer, doors of the spirit, omelets of blessed Alexia, the house of troubles. Lock level 70? Good grief. Is, is there any way for me to get in there? I'm suspecting, you know, no, honestly. Onduces, um, I could try and get very lucky with Onduces Unhinging. It just isn't going to work, is it? 25 to 75 points on touch. It's like probably, what, like a 6% chance of that happening or something? I don't know. I have Onduces Key, but I'll only do 50. That is uh, frustrating. Although, it only says failed, not, not locked too complex. I sort of assumed there, and apparently I assumed incorrectly. That's interesting. Although apparently I'm going to go through a few of these in the process. Mental note, get some more. What do we have? 50 gold. With the shins. Another one for the library, I suppose. Well... Equipped right now. Okay, let's um, come on, Bill. Let's just leave before anyone starts asking questions. Okay, have another round of that. I actually want to put on my awesome or right, a tong robe right now for no other reason than it looks cool, and I don't like wearing the robe of alteration because it doesn't look cool. All right. Let's get out of here. Got to go west. Which would be this way. Past the mountains, west-southwest of Melkashishi, which I can only assume is that danger ground on the other side of that hill there. Dear. Let's equip range less of each health so we can have Bill do some of some of the uh, the combat here instead of us I do move very fast indeed with the staff equipped don't I wow yeah no 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 real surprise there it's it's <laughs> yikes wow Look at my carrying capacity with this thing equipped do I have anything else equipped right now that's boosting my speed Not really, no. It's just the effect of having a, l a light inventory. Yeah, I thought that might kill it in one. I should really get like a very, very... I should make a very weak ranged absorb health spell that I can use to uh, tag enemies with for you. At a very minor cost of magicka. Also, it does occur to me I'm kind of going the wrong way here. And also, because this is the way we came, and also, I don't remember you. Who are you? Can you help a poor pilgrim? No, sorry.
Probably just wanted me to take him up the road to Margan there, I would imagine. But even so, I don't have time. We could, yeah, well, look at us. We could cover quite a bit of ground on moving even this fast, I tell you. You deal with that, Bill. There's a good skeleton. My goodness, you can run fast. Although you seem to be a little confused right now. <laughs> oh good, you've teleported. Excellent. Right. Having a bit of a Benny Hill moment there. Hmm. Do you east of Margate? Sorry, do you east? but in the West Gash. So I'll have to find a way over around the map. Okay, how does that even work? How to be east of Margan, but in the West Gash? That must be a typo. I'm sure she said West the first time. Yes, it's due West. I'm gonna put that down to Fathis' poor handwriting or something. I think we want to go over this hill. Never mind. I flail my staff at you ineffectually. A bit of blood weapon skill wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, I suppose. There's a lot of them around here. There's a beetle once is dead. There's another cliff racer here. Up to its name, racing around cliffs, I guess. And that's the West Gash. I never realized the West Gash had so many trees. It's practically a forest. Right, this is. I can only assume this is Melkashishi here, right here. I don't think we have any business there right now. The rewards for exploring a Daedric Ruin can be great, but also so are the dangers. And, um. Sort of. We're a long way from home right now. We have a, quite a return journey to get through as well. So I don't necessarily want to needlessly waste time and resources exploring places like that if I don't have to. Well, I can teleport back to my uh, hideout anytime I like, of course. Uh, Bill cannot. You see, so... And while Bill is in a sense ex expendable, in reality he's kind of not, because it's very difficult to make a replacement. Right, well this is this has got to be Melkashishi. I don't want to get close enough to see it marked on my map. That's a green. A little green. Um, strange, scaly, miniature elephant thing. Um... Ha! Perhaps this is what we're after. And precisely what is trying to attack me? It's a very, very small rat. That's what's trying to attack me. Okay. Right. suspect there may be powerful enemies within here. So I'm going to lead the way on this one. You can help Bill, but uh, I'm not going to put you in the line of fire. Your your job here really is to carry my stuff and deal with random critters in the wilderness. This, on the other hand, could be difficult. And this is indeed the Reloth Ancestral Tune, so we got it right, thankfully. Um, we could certainly try sneaking. I don't think we'd get very far if we did, though, but... We'll make an attempt, at least. It might improve our skill slightly. And my goodness, it's dark down here. Let's fix that. Now, I have learned thanks to people in the YouTube comments, that you cannot get a sneak attack with an enchanted weapon. This is why I've not been able to get sneak attacks. So let's put this theory to the test. Soul Splitter technically is not an enchanted weapon. 
as far as the game is concerned. Um, that still wasn't a... Still wasn't a sneak attack. Because it should give you a message and play a slightly different sound when you get a successful sneak attack. So I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong there. You know, that was me saying, oh, oh, it's very difficult to make a replacement. I did forget I can just raid a random tomb for skeletons. But there is the ethical question. What ethical question, I know. <laughs> Ethics? Pathos? Ulven? Ethics? I don't know. It's a big taboo, you know, but then I suppose necromancy in general is a big taboo as well. Typically in the past we've only used the corpses of people who have caused problems for us in the past, who have openly defied us. Like you, for example, you were once a necromancer that tried to kill me, so I killed you, and turned you into a skeleton. But I must admit, it is much easier to just take skeletons from here because, my goodness, when I was when I was trying when when I turned mittens into a skeleton, frick, ah, that took ages. It took literal weeks. Because you have to drag the body out into the wilderness and wait for the wildlife to pick the bones clean. and It's just a messy, messy, lengthy process. But, I mean, right here, look at this place. This is just, this is just you know, skeletons ready to go in, in, in boxes. This night eye is useful, but it does use a lot of magic, doesn't it? Well done, Bill. I'm already looting their belongings. Might as well loot their remains as well if I need them. Oh, that's a very nice item. I'll need the Black and Soul Gem. They are value 60, but they're far more useful to me for necromantic purposes than they are for... Uh, for selling. Of course, this place is already full of necromancers. Uh, Warwick's of Wounds. 24 weight, though. Probably shouldn't be picky with my looting, considering I don't have a lot of money right now, but I am going to be picky anyway. Ah, you are a vampire. Are we going to have a conversation with you, or are we just going to kill you? Ah! We're just going to kill you is the answer, and you're quite powerful as well, actually. I think a bit of that couldn't solve. Ah, you are the cattle, I, I see. Um, let's just get a lantern out here. Instead of wasting more magic or a night eye. What are you doing here? What can I do for you? Well, you're free now? Yeah, they, um... The vampires do something to these people. They don't ever seem particularly pleased that they've been freed. Bone charm. Summon skeletal minion. Summoning skeletal minions? Merely summoning them? That is for amateurs.
So what have you got for me then? Poison mirror robe. It's like the one I've already got in the same colors, except it's magic. I just bummed the microphone, sorry about that. Resist poison 25 to 50% for 30 seconds on self. Reflect 5 to 25% for 30 seconds. I shall take it and sell it. And a demon tanto, which is uh, very useful. I think I already have one of those lying around somewhere with the bound dagger thing. I wonder if the band dagger is better or worse than Meirin's razor. I would be disappointed if it was better. I haven't used the band dagger in ages, but it was very useful early on, wasn't it? Some expensive shoes and Murta's ruby amulet. We're probably going to need to show that to, um... What's-his-face back in Eldarune to make sure that he realizes she's dead. Apparently taking all her clothes and belongings wasn't enough. We'll, we'll, <laughs> the amulet will do. All right, is there anything else? Anything else that I've missed? Could check the urns, but they never have anything in them except for bone meal. Although bone meal is a necessary component for making... Uh, for making... Skellingtons. You're actually surprisingly valuable. I I didn't realize that was a dreg club. I mistook it for a wooden one. Did check all of those. I love having a glove of telekinesis on all the time. It's great. Well, note to self, Renoth Ancestral Tomb is an incredibly rich source Ooh, a soul gem. of skeletons and black soul gems and, of course, bone meal with all the urns everywhere. If I ever find myself in need of very quickly building up a skeleton army, which, uh, well, you know, with me building a stronghold and all, that might not be out of the question. Or simply need lots of replacements for you. Um... Not a bad place to go. Not a bad place to go. Um, yeah. I do need to practice necromancy, though. That's the thing. Because there is a necromancy skill tracked with the Blasphemous Revenants mod, and we do need to improve with that as we go on. And I haven't done that yet. Very much, anyway. This is why I'm only able to make lesser Dark Elf Revenants. You see, I'd like to be able to make, like, Greater Revenants. I wonder how powerful a Greater Dark Elf Revenant is. It's an interesting thought, you know. Greater Revenants? You never know. I might need Greater Revenants one day. 